Jesus said, If you hold to my teachings, you are really my disciples. Then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. A boy was travelling with his father in a car one day when a bee flew in through an open window. Now the boy happened to be highly allergic to bee stings, and one sting could prove fatal. As the boy saw the bee, he panicked and jumped around in the car trying to avoid getting stung. The father reached across and grabbed the bee in his hand. Then as he opened his hand, the bee flew around again in a threatening manner. As the boy screamed out, his father said, Look, son, he opened his hand before his son and the boy saw that the bee had stung his father. His stinger is gone, said the father. He can't hurt you anymore. Well, Jesus took the full sting of our sin on the cross. The wrath of God against our unrighteousness was totally discharged upon his son. Peter says that he himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree. This is God's way of salvation for you and me. By believing in his sacrificial death for us, we are forgiven all our sin and are at peace with God. This is the good news of the gospel. This is Set Free with Ken Legg. Hi, Phil here and thanks for joining us with Set Free. With me, of course, is author and teacher Ken Legg. And we're asking the question this week, are you sure? Probably the most important question anyone can ask. How can I be sure that I have peace with God? I love that story of uh, the little boy with the bee uh, that you just told, Ken. You know, many seem to be confused about this whole issue of having peace with God and, and what Jesus has done for us. And you shared with us yesterday three common misconceptions and, and try to clear up some of those, that it's not by deed, things that we do. It's not by creed, things that we might believe. And it's not by breed that we might be born into a supposed Christian country or Christian family. So, Ken, then, in the simplest terms that you can uh, put it in, what is the gospel? Well, I'll do it even better than that, uh, Phil. I won't put it in my terms, but in Paul's. Let's just quote what Paul said in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1 to 4. He said, I declare to you the gospel, which I preached to you, which also you received, and in which you stand, by which also you are saved. If you hold fast that word which I preached to you, unless you believed in vain. Now, what was it he preached? He goes on to say, For I deliver to you, first of all, that which I also received, that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. That's and that, it. That's really it in a nutshell, isn't it? Jesus died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and God raised him from the dead. Yeah, you know, uh, I think he says in another place in Romans that God delivered him up for our offenses, but raised him for our justification. So if you like, his death was the payment for our sins and his resurrection was the receipt that the payment was made in mm, full. I like that. I haven't heard it put like that before. It's good. Yeah. Yesterday, you know, Phil, we talked a lot about sin. Um, you know, God is holy and that sin separates us from him because he cannot count on sin. But he's also love. You know, he loves us with an amazing love, more than probably we'll ever know. It'll take eternity and even then we'll only be scratching at the surface, you know. So here's the dilemma. On the one hand, you've got this holy God who cannot count on sin, cannot fellowship with sin. But on the other side, you've got this God of love who yearns to be reconciled with us. Um, and, it, of course, it was this love that won through and uh, put Jesus on the cross. God sent his son 2,000 years ago. He had a human nature. He lived as a man like one of us differed only in one point that he never sinned. Um, and, of course, the reason he sent his son was that he had to live as a man and die as a man because he had to pay for the sin of man. Mm. And, and that's why the humanity of Christ is such an important aspect of our of our belief. So he lived as a man and uh, was tempted as a man, was tried as a man, and yet he was sinless, he was spotless. And then as that spotless Lamb of God, he went to the cross and died in our place for our sin. And the fact that he died by crucifixion is itself quite amazing because that itself was foretold by Scripture some thousand years before Christ uh, when he was on earth. In the Psalms, David prophesied that the Messiah would die by crucifixion and he said, they pierced my hands and my feet. And that was hundreds of years even before the Roman Empire existed and uh, the crucifixion became their form of capital punishment. Yeah, that's right. I mean, the Jews' method of capital punishment was death by stoning. Mm. Uh, in fact, you can even go back beyond uh, or before, if you like, the time of David, uh, back to the time of Moses when he wrote the law. And, um, you know, he said, cursed is there anyone that hangs upon a tree. And, of course, um, 
Paul takes that point up in Galatians and says, you know, Jesus became a curse. That's what was happening here. He he hung there as a curse. He took the curse upon himself. Mm. But um, crucifixion was was a horrific thing. Can I can I just quote to you, Phil, just um, a description of crucifixion from my little booklet? Are you sure? Let me just quote to you. Crucifixion is a prolonged and torturous death in which the victim is nailed to a wooden cross by his hands and the cross is dropped into a hole in the ground. As the crucified person hangs there, every movement is painful. His lacerated veins and crushed tendons throb with unrelenting pain. His wounds are inflamed and gradually become gangrene. His arteries become swollen. He endures the pang of burning and raging thirst. And all the while he's fighting against suffocation as he has to pull himself up by the spikes in his hand to take every breath. Now, all this Jesus endured for you and me. You know, someone once said, I asked Jesus how much he loved me. And he stretched out his arms upon the cross and said this much. And then he died. But of course, getting back to why he died this way, we know that it was to become a curse. You know, Isaiah said, all we like sheep have gone astray. We've turned everyone to his own way, but the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. So his death was a substitutionary death. He, he died in our place that he might endure that, that curse, that separation from God, that we might be restored into fellowship with him. Mm. And because he's died in our place, you know, no one who has put their trust in him will ever need to fear the judgment of God either in respect to their own sin because Jesus took it. That's right. In fact, Phil, let me just uh, close today by sharing a story with you that illustrates that point. Many years ago, a man was walking through the grass with his daughter on a Canadian prairie. But they soon discovered that a prairie fire was heading towards them, and in a short time, the fire would surround them. They'd be cut off, you know, they'd be in danger. Now, the the father knew that there was only one way to safety. And so he started a fire right where they were standing. He burnt up a large area around them. And as the fire approached, they stood on the patch of ground which had already been scorched. Now, of course, the little girl was terrified as the the fire came near. But her father comforted her with these words. He said, don't be afraid. The flames cannot get to us because we are standing where the fire has already been. And, of course, you know, the wild prairie fire licked up the tall grass that was all around them where the father and the daughter were stood, but it never came to them because that ground had already been burned. Mm. There's a wonderful picture of our salvation. The wages of sin is death. There's no compromise on that. There's no letting up on that. But that payment was made at the cross. The wrath that was towards us, that we were due, fell upon him. You know, the the payment for our iniquities was laid upon him, as we saw from Isaiah. And and, and so there is a day of judgment coming, Phil. The, The Bible says that the world would be judged by God. But we who are in Christ will not be judged because the fire cannot come where the flames have already been. And I guess that would be like God judging us twice if that was the case, and that that wouldn't be just. Yeah, in fact, you know that scripture that says that if we confess our sins, which we did when we come to Christ, Mm. he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. Mm. Now, it would be unjust if he judged us again, having already judged us in Christ. I remember once going to see a couple at the hospital and uh, they just lost a baby. In fact, this was the third time that they'd lost a baby. Terrible. And so there's obviously a problem there. And in everything I shared with them, I I, I just approached the whole subject of uh, adoption. And this guy had actually been to prison. And, and I remember he said to me, he said, Ken, we've tried to adopt a child, but we can't because I have a criminal record. Then he said this to me, he said, I don't think that's fair to you. He said, because I went to prison and I paid the price for my crime, but now I'm being asked to pay again. I thought, well, that's true. I mean, I I could have gone to prison, but I could still have children, you know. But he was being penalized twice, and he felt a sense of injustice. Now, the Bible says that God is faithful and just to forgive us our sins because his justice has been fulfilled at the cross. Jesus has paid the full price for our sins. It is finished. How to be sure you have peace with God. That's the subject for this week on Set Free. And we'll have more for you tomorrow. In the meantime, remember, you don't have to carry that baggage. God wants you to be set free. For books, DVDs, small group studies and other resources from Ken Legg and details about Ken's ministry, visit kenlegg.com.au. That's K-E-N-L-E-G-G dot com dot A-U.